The Indian batsmen were faced with a stern test on day one of the first test, at the end of which you'd say they could have done better. New Zealand won the toss in windy Wellington and with all that wind around and the grass on that pitch, you knew the Indian batsmen were going to get ready because the hosts chose to bowl first. India making a rather surprising call, bringing in Rishabh Pant ahead of their regular test keeper, Riddhiman Saha. Prithvi Shaw and Mayank Agarwal came out to bat in two completely different fashions. Mayank Agarwal was batting wary of the conditions, while Prithvi Shaw was at his positive and aggressive best. But you knew that he was taking risks against the moving ball, and they could only pay for that long as Saudi got one to just miss his outside edge and he was knocked over. Pujara and Mayank Agarwal did seem like writing the ship, but debutant Kylie Jameson claimed Pujara as his maiden test wicket. And if you thought his test debut was good, it was only going to get better as he set Virat Kohli up with balls outside the off stump, then a short ball and then another outside the off stump, getting him to edge one to the slips and he was gone. Before lunch, India were three down. On the other side of lunch, Mayank Agarwal and Ajinkya Rahane strung together a 48-run stand and it seemed like Indian batting was finally on the right course. But Trent Bolt came and got Mayank Agarwal. Hanuma Vihari, who had 550-plus scores in his last five first-class innings in New Zealand, couldn't stay out there for long as well. Kylie Jamison picking up his third wicket. Rain did mar a huge part of play on day one, but if you look at that scorecard, you will see that it paints a bleak picture for the Indian batsmen. But what it does is that it paints a positive picture for the Indian bowlers, who might be in action at some point on day two.